Australian RMBS has enjoyed an impressive rally in recent months, with spreads moving from around 130 basis points late last year to around 80 or 90 basis points today. Issuance has also been very strong, with over $7 billion issued this year, making it the strongest start to a year since 2007 and pre-crisis. This has been uh, indicative of broadening demand and a growing acceptance of this asset class. Also notable is that government support for the sector through the AOFM has been greatly diminished. In fact, the AOFM have not purchased any deals at all this year. So the growing demand has also has really come from an offshore investor base. This has been driven by changes to global liquidity rules and also investors seeking diversity. So much so that we've seen offshore participation of 30 to 40% in some recent deals. Now, this conversation must also be balanced out by discussing some risks to the market and some of the regulatory changes the market faces. We soon expect a draft paper from APRA discussing changes to their prudential standards for securitisation. Issuers and investors alike are very interested in the outlook from APRA and the potential for them to allow date-based calls from ADIs. The other issue the market's focused on is the potential introduction of master trusts. On master trusts, the market and the feedback has been somewhat mixed, with investors really in two camps. In one camp, we've heard from investors who are in favour of master trusts and the bullet-like structures these can deliver, while in the other camp, we have investors who prefer the current structures and the single pools enabling easier credit analysis. Of course, lastly, there remains concerns with the LMI providers and the housing sector. Our view is for a subdued housing recovery whilst the consumer confidence remains weak. However, investors seem more concerned with specific geographic regions, particularly those affected by mining and the downturn in tourism, rather than a worry about Australian housing on the whole. That said, we still expect solid demand for Australian RMBS, driven by the diversity and LCR bid that I mentioned previously.